I came here to do two things and two things only. Purge heretics and steal property. And I already stole your property. So let's do this. Face your Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, peace doesn't exist, and there's only war. Abandon reason! No, only war! <laughs> Reject humanity. Become space marine. In this war, it's us versus them. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And them being anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. <laughs> and what's the only thing defending us from them, you might ask? Space Marines! Get off the ship, Space Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! <laughs> Genetic That's just an orc from Warcraft. Likely modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery no! store, only instead of staying ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. <laughs> Die! We're talking two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 <laughs> and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death. Think of them as religious. Religion-fueled death machines hell-bent on exterminating any race that isn't human, while also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist. We love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. <laughs> Bolt gun! <laughs> or, you know, belong to a different religion. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I'm a black priest for Emperor's sake. Even gods may die! <laughs> we don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, and Necrons, and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists. Excuse the fuck you. <laughs> but at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand. One such chapter of Space Marines are the Ultra Marines. Or if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs. That are charged with exterminating the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Clever of the damned orcs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value absolute. <laughs> so I'm... I'm guessing that's pretty important. Exterminatus? Then. Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. That that's gonna be the new meme, right, everybody? Like, <laughs> chat. What about this thing? I, well, I'm thinking about this thing. Chat. Everybody at the same time. Strategic value absolute. <laughs> You occupy the role of Captain Titus, a soft-spoken junior officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo-nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rulebook called a Codex. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected crit marine... I played as a blood marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. That's heresy, ooh. <laughs> I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War. I would rather play as a blood raven than an ultramarine smurf blueberry. No! Important lists are purging and also, spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Why? Come on. Come on. Yeah! All the way up to the orc <laughs> warboss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! Oh my god, he's just a loot goblin. 
uniquely <laughs> as diverse the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with. From a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter. Because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter for this heresy. <laughs> the quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's right. These guys are so draconian, they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies are the health kits. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when when Reaper and o Overwatch got buffed with fucking life steal on hit, right? And then all and suddenly, you know, suddenly you're just like as a Reaper you're hooked by a Roadhog. Oh no! Suddenly after the buff, Roadhog Roadhog hooks the Reaper. The Reaper mm, lunch. <laughs> Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die, heretics! Yum! Your melee weapon of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. <laughs> On the other hand, or rather with both hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits like a bus, running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You bus, I'm about to send your ass into outer space. <laughs> and you've got a power axe in between those two extremes. And I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it. And I'm oddly okay with that. Yeah. If you want to get fancy, you can <laughs> melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. Die, skin. So it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, save. <laughs> <laughs> stun too He's hard, stuck in the terrain. <laughs> he stunned too hard and fucking clipped in. <laughs> fucking based. Brother. I am Brother, I am stuck in the terrain. <laughs> Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Brother! Brother! Brother, I am pinned here! <laughs> Eventually, you'll realize you can't just slice your way through the game. <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader meme rock. <laughs> that noise cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. Or, more specifically, bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this... Mm. Bolters. Sing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms because it may be used like an assault rifle, only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which should actually be a 75 cal. Wait, that's heresy, but I believe it. Mmm, <laughs> 70. So what so when when am I when am I gonna be able to be large enough to fund the bolter chat? That's what I wanna know. According to the lore. That's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target. Making yeah. it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. How many fucking robots does this place have? Are we invading an Imperium outpost or Amazon headquarters? I'm gonna <laughs> You have downward variants and upward variants, like the bolter pistol in case you've got something heavy in your hands, and my personal favorite, the stalker bolter, which is the most satisfying sniper rifle I've ever had the privilege of using. Just like Sesame Street, you ready? And one, Whoa! And two, no! Three, not three, not four, five. I'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burned. That was <laughs> if you absolutely, positively have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double-barreled LMG. That's mmm, Thunderlord. Cool for the first five minutes that you use it. The rate of fire of the Storm Bolter, perfection. The accuracy of the Storm Bolter. But better alternatives do exist because the game gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and four, 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 way too many four. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. <laughs> but once I started fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker for the last cannon or laser cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan oh. laser that was clearly superior because here's me killing a Chaos Marine with a bolter. 
all. Thank the Emperor! I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. <laughs> and here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laz Cannon. Oh! The Emperor, that's <laughs> for your oh. slot, it's all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A Vengeance Launcher. That sounds promising. Even a flame bursting shotgun exists, but all of these specialized weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Burn them in flame! Burn in holy fire! <laughs> Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this. Don't worry about it, they're augmented, they're fine. Much armor, it's a long story. But channeling your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a significant portion of your play. Through. It's even useful in boss fights because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Honestly, this shit looks fucking great. Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, baby! How does it feel to get crumped by a member of your own race? Get crumped! On that note, there are even these little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called Squigs that explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So, this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, Squig Merch! Merch into the group! Get in there! Get in there! Yeah! <laughs> but as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder hammer is <laughs> Like an NBA dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps! Oh! oh! LeBron James! Oh! Disregard for Orc Life! <laughs> 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 This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. I fucking love my commute! And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. And that's called Fury. If being a space marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well... Deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means you're- Yeah, that, that's, that's the most human thing I've ever heard. Health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> And he went to orbit. Back to the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. Oh. So yeah. you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still don't know. Hey look, a lift. But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't Ooh. look like you. Ah, stop <laughs> assisting! <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. <laughs> the story isn't all that important, seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the best character is Orc Warboss Grimskull, because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. Love that. Dude, dude seems based. Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! <laughs> you are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. 
Engaging warp spider. Ah, a warp spider. But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence. And given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're in the final boss fight with Mimroth, who's obsessed with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil. But again, this game is about the gameplay, not yeah. about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something. Crack is whack! Crack it. It's not about the- Something, something crack is whack. <laughs> That's a Florida-ism. Plotting, it's about the- Purging! The- and, and that's about it. But before I go, I wanted to mention as of me recording this video right now, it is $7 on Steam. This is in no way a sponsored video. I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around anymore. So from an unbiased- Son of a bitch, if this is on sale, someone make sure they- Someone make sure they, like, ping me in the Discord when it's on sale. This looks fucking great. If you have $7 on you that you're not gonna spend on your next meal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand warhammer 40k is fascinating so again seven dollars totally worth it thanks very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time when we make fun of the salamanders maybe this new space force that they're trying to form in the u.s will exa be exactly like this so instead of the fbi <laughs> busting down your door when you're looking at <laughs> it'll be Knock, 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 Imperium of Man open. <laughs> Fuck, my let's make me a bolter fire. The future is going to be weird, man. Oh my god, Badger, I wish. I wish. That is fucking base. That's all I can fucking say. Holy shit. That is... Man. Well, I mean, what what is it? We have fucking aliens now confirmed, right? So, I mean, that's gonna be... That's gonna... <laughs> allegedly... That's gonna be fun. God, this was fucking awesome. Now I know why people wanted me to watch it. Hopefully that lived up to your expectations. I'm a little tired, so I hope it was to your liking and there were many laughs.